Now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive. A former inmate at the Wyatt Detention Center in Central Falls is facing felony assault charges, accused of slamming his handcuffed wrist into a guard's skull, causing serious injury. The state police investigation makes some shocking allegations and raises serious questions about the head of security at the troubled facility. A warning to our viewers tonight, this report contains graphic images of the injuries sustained by the prison guard. Target 12 investigator Tim White is in the newsroom now with the exclusive details. We've obtained shocking court documents that claim the head of security at the Wyatt may have put a corrections officer in harm's way. Then investigators suggest he may have destroyed video evidence in an attempt to cover it up. This is Lieutenant Scott Belford, a corrections officer at the Wyatt Detention Center. These photographs obtained by Target 12 were taken moments after officials say a combative inmate, Christopher Morales, brought these metal handcuffs crashing down on Belford's skull. Morales, who is now serving time at a federal prison in Pennsylvania for a conviction in a separate case, was charged Friday with two felony counts of assault and battery by the Rhode Island Attorney General's Office. According to court documents obtained by Target 12, Belford was ordered to handcuff Morales to the front rather than his back as prison protocol calls for. The order came from the prison's chief of security, Major Christopher Coburn, according to the report. This order, although not criminal in nature, presented an opportunity for an assaultive detainee to inflict injury to correctional staff. The report states, per prison policy, the removal of Morales from his cell was being videotaped, but the tape became mysteriously damaged in the weeks following the incident. When questioned by state police detectives, the report states Coburn was evasive and ambiguous. Circumstantial evidence suggests Major Coburn's lapse in judgment caused him to destroy evidence of the assault, which could have been used against him through disciplinary action by the administration. Coburn was not charged as a result of the state police investigation. As Target 12 first reported, Belford, who is still out of work, claims prison administrators let him down because they failed to act for months following the alleged assault. He and his lawyer asked the state police to step in and investigate. Major Coburn is still working at the prison and has not been disciplined, but I reached out to the prison's lawyer and she tells me they've been waiting on the state police report before launching their own internal investigation. And she says the warden has a zero tolerance policy for bad behavior. But the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. The Target 12 investigators are always looking to uncover news. If you want to help expose corruption or drop a dime on government waste, you can call our tip line 228-1763 or email us at target12 at wpri.com.